everybody. Thanks for joining us once again as we look to God's Word for some encouragement, hope, strength, all we need for the day, and more as the week progresses. I was thinking today about the story of Ruth and what the story teaches us about how to deal with disappointment, heartache, pain, grief, things of that nature. Are you familiar with Ruth's story? It really begins with the story of her mother-in-law, Naomi. Naomi's husband unexpectedly and tragically died. And about the same time, the same fate, uh, we don't know exactly the cause of death, but we know that it was unexpected and sudden. Naomi's two sons were killed as well. Of course, the loss of any one of these three men would be tragic, but to have all three happen together was overwhelming. And so Naomi resolved that she was going back to Israel, back to her people. And so she took her two surviving daughter-in-laws and pulled them aside and said, you know, you should go back to your home people. You should go back to where you're from. They were not Israelites. They were from other places. And the one daughter-in-law kissed her deeply on the, on the cheek, hugged and embraced, you know, to said goodbye. They, they loved each other so, and she went back to her people. Ruth, on the other hand, made a different decision. And in the book that bears her name, Ruth chapter 1, verse 16, Ruth says to Naomi, she says, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go... I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. She makes a resolution. She's not going to wallow back in despair or pain. Certainly, her heart is hurting. But in that moment, she chooses to bind herself all the more to Naomi to be with her, and to go be a part of her people, and to honor Naomi's God, the God of all, the Lord of lords and King of kings, Father God, to honor him first and foremost. People deal with pain in a variety of ways, especially when it's tragic, especially when it hits us right in the very core of who we are. Some people don't know how to handle that pain, and so they turn away from others, sometimes husbands against wives, sometimes family members against one another, sometimes close friends go separate ways because they don't know how to face their old relationships as they carry this heartache. Either they don't want to burden their friend or their loved one, or they don't know how to share that pain. And so out of fear, out of fear maybe of rejection, out of fear of I can't take any more pain and so they try to just rip it all off at once, just deal with it all at once and say that's it, I'm done and they walk away. Of course that doesn't really heal us, does it, when that happens. Other people wisely open up their hearts to say I'm hurting and they make the quality decision to draw near to those whom God has placed in their lives. You know, I think part of God's amazing grace to us is that he puts people in our lives, both family and friends, through whom he can show us his care, his love, his comfort, especially when we need it most. And in those times when we're tempted to shut down and close up, Those are the times that perhaps we need to open our hearts all the more to those who are still with us, that God might use those folks to help be an instrument of healing in our lives so that in other times, with the comfort that we've received from him, we might then be able to offer it to someone else in their time of need. That's a bit of what Ruth does. There's no question she's hurting. There's no question that Naomi is hurting. But in the midst of that pain, rather than go their separate ways, they make a decision to stick it out together. You know, here at Friendship Village, we are surrounded by lots of people who love the Lord and love one another. And when we go through tough times of 
questions or disappointment or stress or tragedy in those times when it seems we just can't take it anymore the truth is we are surrounded by god's grace through people that he's placed in our lives to help lend us strength in our time of need if you're hurting today who is it that you can reach out to is there a friend is there a loved one certainly here at uh, chesterfield i'm available our associate chaplain mary myrink is available we have lots of people and our care staff that are here to interact and help folks like michelle dane many other directors here as well lots of people that want you to know that you matter this is the time to make the decision you know what i'm going to draw close to those who are in my life that i might find strength there was something about naomi's relationship with god that apparently also got ruth's attention because she says your people will be my people i want to be around people just like you naomi people that give love and care and can help in a time that even when you're struggling that helps me know together we can make it but then she says and your god will be my god there's a time when we realize that true help comes from above comes from a heavenly father who loves us and cares for us if you're hurting today Let's make the quality decision to confess our need to the Lord, to open up our heart to someone else, and then turn to our Heavenly Father, who is surely here to bring us help in our time of need. With that thought in mind today, let's come before Him in prayer. Heavenly Father, just as you cared for Ruth in this story, just as you helped her, Lord, to know what to do in her time of need, how not to isolate herself or separate herself away, but instead to be connected to Naomi, her people, and to you. Lord, help us in our time of need not to separate ourselves, not to think that we have to somehow be strong on our own, but, Lord, that we would turn to those who love us, that care for us, both friends, both both uh, staff here at the village, Lord, people that you've placed in and around our lives, friends and loved ones, to help us know we're not alone and that we matter to you. In all things, Lord, help us to think that you are my God. And I thank you that as we turn to you, as we look to you, as we devote ourselves to you, Lord, that we can expect your grace, your strength, your power, your love to come flooding into our lives to help us overcome these seasons of difficulty that crop up from time to time. In all things, Lord, we know that you're good. And in hard moments, we choose to look to you. Have your way in us today. Bring us the strength that we need. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Don't be alone. Don't feel like you have to be alone. I don't mean that there never are moments when, hey, I just want to be my myself for time. That's, that's appropriate. That's right. We get our bearings. But in our hearts, let's never cut, our, cut ourselves off from one another or from the Lord. The truth is we need the influence of godly people in our lives that can lend us strength. Here at the village, there are lots of folks like that all around. This is the time to open our hearts to one another. If you're part of our Friendship Village family, thanks for watching today right here on Channel 900. We're doing our best to show you these videos brand new every day at 4.30, followed by a rerun at 8 o'clock at night, and then we show it again at 8 o'clock in the morning. Of course, you can always find us online any time of the day or night on YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot com. I bit my tongue as I said that. Let me say it again. YouTube. Simply type in Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell. There are lots of videos there right now. Thanks for being with us today. God bless you. We'll see you next time. <laughs>